name is Esther and you're welcome to Mopiaras of Entertainment Reality Show Reviews and what have you please do it to subscribe welcome to the family once again we love you hmm straight to business today guys look on the winner of Ibn Aja season 5 I mean the lockdown edition is a year older today yeah the big 29 year <laughs> wow <laughs> happy birthday I'm really really so happy like really so happy for how far you've come you know your pursuit your dreams and career or more, more only you want winner singer rapper songwriter grammy member and more to come not only you are come <laughs> like 29 years and you have achieved this greatness really really so proud and happy for you this is the beginning of greater things in your life dear god bless you bless your new age we're here to celebrate you and every of your achievement yeah happy birthday once again guys moving on my people or more guys and eh, the people ninja will and fight this year <laughs> it seems like an entirely different one because if i'm not wrong this will be the very first time we will be having a serious male rivalry yeah Perry and uh, white money i remember um they had just a little and for a while it didn't last that long but because the two of them were quick enough to nip it in the board before it became bad and if it wasn't that mature compared to this one so so that one died down but almost um, this year owner it seems like it's not ending anytime soon in fact it's getting worse by the day if we are being honest so it's the unending fight between adekula and Shex, which started while they were still um in the house where biggie was still feeding them giving them tax and all, and all that but it has escalated now and continued to spread like wildfire courtesy of the fans you guys know now fans now in the spread anything spreadable but if i may ask like i keep asking myself why fans why 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 i mean all that happened between the two happened in the house and ended there and to the best of my knowledge would have been minding their business minding the business that pays them since they left the house so why are fans carrying this main rivalry war on their head like um, Gala Sausage Now fans have literally been on each other's throat for months now. Any opportunity for each fan base to fight the other that they know they slack for their Shex FC drag um, Islanders, Islanders drag Shex FC at any given time. Again, why? Anyway, this particular drama started when people started giving their reviews about Sheikh's outfit to black panther movie premiere i mean this was a general uh, view even mainstream um twitter too however that of adekule fans was pointed out for obvious reasons now and i don't think get cantal i don't think get unresolved issue before so that's how um fight started though from he has zero swag zero charisma zero enthusiasm just lazy and sluggish they were referring to Shex here. And to Shex and Adekule, we enter the same room and um, Adekule, we command more respect, presence than Shex we ever. Then Shex FC chose back, saying, they chose back their own. So saying, I remember in the house, Adekule, how Adekule imagined this life outside the house, thinking brands will be rushing in and he will be getting invites to events. But reality, he ended up being a driver what's it like a driver really does adekule not drive uber <laughs> well to that adekule responded by posting a picture of himself and a car behind with the caption driver oh wow <laughs> oh my this guy <laughs> then to islander saying shakes is a broiler so irrelevant that dstv ignored a self acclaimed footballer to anchor a sports show and chose adequately the same platform as well, blah 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 blah. Then some Sheik FC saying um Sheikhs made adequately prominent, made adequately the star that he is now. How true is this guys? Please let's discuss in the comment section. For me, I do not agree with that because they are both gifted in their own way and they both saw themselves in ways they felt would help them in and outside the house. So but um, the drama no be here plenty die anyway no doubt and yes we all know that both of them i mean both shakes and um adekuni aren't friends and it's okay but is it too hard like is it too hard to face your faith alone and keep it moving like with the rivalry um between shakes and adekuni fan base ever ever hen well mm, i guess that's what um keeps baby ninja twitter alive 
after all it is well even your face i think they are even tired of this although none of them has really addressed it like that like that but i think they are tired of it i mean i definitely have to come out posting me coming on elomot app today using the popular meme of a baby running outside at the same time like god go help you now god go help you now may rivalry now moving on the high priestess herself we i be wrong guys to say edo stays first daughter <laughs> like uh, potako's first daughter ah uh, so we welcomed like the royalty that she is in being a city today edo state which also happens to be our own town in this city guys are you ready for finals and coming as we speak everyone is ready to receive our yeah but omo fina is so so booked and busy different different activities in that place waiting for her alone like she's booked all through this year man well she said she paid for everything she has now that she paid to be busy and getting all the gear she has now so she can't be complaining that she only asks for strength mm. nice nice mentality there nice mentality to have there so one of the oba's queen also posted her homecoming as in the oba benin wife she posted fina's homecoming flyer on her insta story most likely fina will be in Oba's palace too Omo, you know how big that is do you know how big that is i posting it alone save na big d hmm Fina's own coming is about to be a big one like i'm looking forward to her uh, and i'm also looking for her being dressed up culturally when she visits the palace Omo, big respect also um, she extended supportive arms to her fellow housemates as she invited kes and pam savvy um to follow her well not surprised and that is also coming at the right time because i remember those guys still did a video last week saying everybody's getting the other day what is happening to them <laughs> so it's coming at the right time um the time the guys needed some sort of encouragement since they left the house and i'm so happy for them and this decision made i knew she would definitely like um i'm sorry to go with her I mean, he's a cool guy yeah and i like his personality so, so guys it's about to go down in Benin City, you all get ready. Moving on, all more them say Chichi the shit for church. You they embarrass herself with Deji. Here you go, though. So, the lover girl and pioneer of beautiful things herself is being dragged for her own beautiful things. So, um, what happened this time? You asked, okay. She and Deji did an um, Instagram live together and it's been drama and drag galore with, with different meanings and interpretations to their body language especially that of the jitu was chichi you know conclusions just the fly left right center such as it's either the is not into chichi or he's not into women something must be the problem to be assuming i didn't see him chatting with fina on his on same instagram live how lively he was i would have said that side is but it is well to so some saying the love of his life is dot too but let's not discuss that yet eh? <laughs> i wonder what you guys mean with the love of his life is dot okay wow to so some saying this video is somehow chichi just embarrassing herself see madam blushing why they just acting like they forced him to come on the live beautiful thing should be very mutual unless it becomes ugly some even went as far as really means to it saying that saying that knowing chichi is an orphan a quest to be loved is somehow undeniable is somehow understandable but she wasting her love on deji doesn't feel that way with her probably too coward to tell her saying so cold god forbid not even a smile after they will say it doesn't do pda guys and on and on and on and, and oh god so what do i say to all this now guys okay to be frank and based on what we watched in the house especially and the few i've seen since they left the house though i'll be glad i'll seriously be glad to be wrong yes there's no joy in seeing that somebody is suffering now there's no joy so it's just, just me sharing my own opinion you're free to share yours in the comment section but i'll be so glad to be wrong about whatever i'm going to say right now i don't think the g is feeling chichi that way sure i mean chichi uh, likes and most likely loves him but i do not think that she's on that level yet i may probably not get to that level with her see it's not a crime mo. it's not a crime to love someone and they don't love you back it happens to almost every human being you've just been human 
it doesn't make um, one less of a human being and it doesn't make the person who has also refused to reciprocate the love a bad person it only becomes bad when they start deceiving you and say okay maybe i love you I love. meanwhile in their heart they know they don't love you or they, um, they start to take the love as weakness and start misbehaving and taking it for granted now for the person whose love is not being reciprocated best thing is to take your l will it be easy hell no but will it be worth it oh yes you know i hope chi chi um knows she deserves real and genuine love and i hope she finds her own love soon i mean the young beautiful lady deserves she deserves it big time in her i still hope i'm wrong i thought if it's verified such things don't happen oh i pray she gets it back soon i pray she really gets it. i mean that's where she makes that money now please let her get it back and the last note this one choco even i just the five eric scammed a lady 5.3 million who approached him um to buy uh, a slot in maybe niger who does that self who does that and i know they learn if this is true so according to the lady she um so according to the lady he failed with this he didn't carry it out he was not successful with it and then he ran to the united kingdom hell or more could this be true i really don't want to believe eric would do that too then and um, the last post comment session was disabled i mean the post he made last on his instagram the comment session was disabled and he's yet to address it i just hope he comes out to address it because this one has a strong story i'm waiting for him to address it and a big claim he gets address it i beg it is well guys that's all for in this video please give it a thumbs up let's show my next video be good be safe bye